All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. So obviously, we want to find the value of x here. And for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation here. So I have x to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. And what I'm going to start by doing is, well, we have x to the power of 2 over 3 here. And we want to try to find a way to make this x to the power of 1. Because x to the power of 1 equals x. And we're trying to find the value of x, not x to the power of 2 over 3. So how are we going to change this x to the power of 2 over 3 into x to the power of 1? Well, to do that, we're going to have to multiply 2 over 3 by a number to make it equal to 1, right? So 2 over 3 times what is equal to 1? Well, we can think of this as an algebraic equation. 2 over 3 to the times x is equal to 1. And to solve this, I'm going to divide both sides by 2 over 3. So I get x is equal to 1 over 2 over 3. And 1 over any number is the reciprocal of that number. So the reciprocal of 2 over 3 is 3 over 2. So we have to multiply 2 over 3 by 3 over 2 to make it equal to 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the power of 3 over 2 on both sides. And the reason I'm doing this is because if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n, meaning this is the same thing as x to the power of 2 over 3 times 3 over 2. And this is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. And remember, like I said, two reciprocals multiply with each other. They make 1. So this is the same thing as x to the power of 1 is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, we have, 16 to the, we have the value of x here, but 16 to the power of 3 over 2, I want to put this in more of a whole number form, not in this type of form. So to do that, I'm going to first rewrite this. At, I'm going to first rewrite 16 to the power of 3 over 2 as 4 squared to the power of 3 over 2. I just simply wrote six, rewrote 16 as 4 squared. And now, remember, we can use this property again, a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n, meaning this is going to equal 4 to the power of 2 times 3 over 2. And 2 times 3 over 2, these two cancel out, so this is going to be equal to 3. So I get x to the power of 1 is equal to 4 to the power of 3, which is equal to 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, so I get 16 times 4, which is equal to 64, meaning the value of x is equal to 64. So now, to check, let's go back to the original equation, which is x to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. Now, we got that x is equal to 64. So if I plug this in for x here, I get 64 to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. Now, from here, I can rewrite 64 as, I can rewrite this as, 8 squared. So I get 8 squared to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. And remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, that's equal to a to the power of m times n. So this is going to equal 8 to the power of 1 thirds. Or sorry, 8 to the power of 4 thirds. 
Now from here, I'm going to rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of 3 is equal to 16. Then these two 3's cancel out, so I get 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. And 2 to the power of 4 is, is 16. So I get 16 is equal to 16. And we know that this is right, meaning my solution of 64, this is also right.